Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the iWeb Wednesday tutorial. Um, today we're bringing you something that I think you'll like a lot. It's um, one of the scrolling boxes that are often seen on websites. Um, they usually have text or images in there, and um, it can scroll from top to bottom, left to right, right to left, um, etc., etc. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make one of those in iWeb natively using HTML and what HTML is. We're going to cover that too. So on that note, let's jump into this tutorial. Alright, so pretty much what HTML is, it's pretty much um, the web encoding. Just like people make video games by writing lines of code, they make uh, websites by writing lines of code. However, oftentimes they use a website builder such as this one, like iWeb or you know any of those other popular ones up there. Out there. Um, everything on this page is then, um, well after you create it, is written into code and that's broadcasted across the web to other places in the world. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on there. Like if you guys have MySpace and you usually, if you search like HTML background or you know cool backgrounds, whatever, those are always HTML based. So the first thing you guys want to do to get this sort of a scrolling box is you want to come over to my website, medievalhollywood.tk. I will put the link in the sidebar. And along the top there should be a button called links. Go to that, and there's going to be um, two pages that we're going to work with today. The color chart for HTML and scrolling HTML um, text box. So let's first go to the text box, and as we can see here, um, it's a website. And if we scroll down a little bit, or the uh, vertical scrolling marque, I have no idea if that's even how I pronounce that word. I'm guessing kind of looks like French, maybe. <laughs> so just take that, hit Command C to copy it, come back out here over to iWeb and we're going to be working with an HTML snippet. If you don't have this little bar on your side, um, you should have a button in the uh, bottom right where it says show media. Click that and then this little task bar will come out. So there should be a button also on the bottom called HTML snippet. Drag that in here and let's paste in what we just copied. So here we have the scrolling text box. Right now that looks pretty crappy because it's like all smashed into one and the text is not what we want etc etc that is all right because we're going to fix all of that um, in a little bit and uh, so before we um, go into too far detail about fixing it let's just make it bigger and to do that um, up here along the top there should be something called w the width and um, you should come in and make sure that is at 100 percent and then hit apply you always have to hit apply before um, anything will become active so just to think about that so also um, we, let's say we want to change the background color. Um, usually there's going to be a, a BG color, and that stands for background color. And um, another thing that we're going to be working on, um, I'll talk about this a little bit later, but all the colors um, in the world um, are represented by a, a series of numbers and letters um, while, while working with HTML. So now let's, this background shade of blue just happens to be this one, this set right here. And now let's say we want it to be black. Well, black is pretty simple to remember. It's just a bunch of zeros. So let's just put a bunch of zeros there and hit apply. Here we can see that, bam, it is now currently all black. Um, if you guys want to check out a full list of these color schemes, go um, back to my website, medievalhollywood.tk. Again, link in the sidebar. And there will be a link on the links, uh, links page called eight, um, Color Chart for HTML um, by Iron Spider. So click that. And if you scroll down a little bit, it's kind of a ways down the page, there'll be a, um, a section called HSB Color Slider. Now this is a very useful tool. So let's say we want to change the hue to, uh, color to maybe a, a green or something like a lime green. Um, we can just you know, drag that over. Let's say we wanted to bring the brightness down, it's a little bit too bright. Um, let's say about right there. Um, and then after that, after we, like, we find the color that we want, it'll be um, the, the the series of numbers and letters and stuff will appear right there um, for us to copy. Then come back over here. Let's change the background color to this one that we just found. So let's paste that in there. If I can highlight everything correctly, that is. All right, so let's paste that in there. And bam, here we have that um, same color of green that we just made. Now this can also apply to the text just as easily as it can in the background. Um, here where it says the font color, like if we want to make this um, totally black, again we can just kind of go in and make um, all the um, things um, black. 
by adding a bunch of zeros. I don't know how many specifically it is. Might be that many. Yep, it is. So here we have the scrolling text upward in one way, whatever. But the scrolling text is in black. So let's say we want to change that. You know, we don't think that's all that cool because kind of it's, an, it's pretty much an ad. So here uh, where it says scrolling text, let's come in here and say like, I go down a line and let's change this to enjoy. Go down another line and say baseball. Now if we hit apply, we can see it says I enjoy and baseball. Now each of these also is a different color, which you know I you can pretty much go in and individually um for each line, paste in what you want it to say. Um if you guys don't want to have these extra lines, you can just delete um out those lines entirely or just the font. Or if you guys want to add some more lines, um we can copy and paste these. So let's copy and paste them a couple times just to show you an example about what's going down. So we'll hit apply. Now it says it should say that I enjoy baseball to make site stand out from the rest, stand out from the rest. Let's see. Baseball to make your site stand out from the rest, stand out from the rest, stand out from the rest. Alright, so it worked. So I hope you guys get the idea on this. I don't want to go into too much further detail because I want you guys to be able to experiment around. Um, if you also want to change the size, probably should change this. Let's say we want the change to be a plus five um, for the um, eye. So we'll hit apply. And here we can see we got a gigantic eye. <laughs> um, this also can be just as um, easily changed with the kind of font. But I come over here to font. And um, we can select that in some odd way. I'm not entirely sure. If you guys know, leave me a comment down below. I think it might be up here, but I'm not sure. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this iWeb um, Wednesday tutorial. If you guys have a feature video request, leave, that, uh, leave it in the comment down below. And I will see you guys, not next week, because I'm sorry, I'm flying over to New York. Um, I'll be making a more proper video explaining all what's going down, but pretty much this coming Friday and all next week, I will not be able to make a video because I'm going over to New York City for spring break. So I'll see you guys in two weeks with a um, Final Cut and iWeb tutorial. And I will see you then.